Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn, Adobe Evangelist. Uh, so this is my second video tutorial about um, HTML5 for app developers. Uh, in this episode, we'll cover Eclipse actually, which is uh, IDE uh, for Java developers, but it also has a set of plugins which you can use to do your uh, HTML5, JavaScript, CSS work. Alrighty, so in order to start, go ahead to Eclipse.org and download the package uh, called uh, Eclipse for JavaScript web developers. Uh, so this package will, uh, will contain all the uh, necessary plugins to do your uh, HTML5 JavaScript development. Uh, of course, uh, depending on your OS, download the proper version. If you're a Mac user like me. I found out there is a small uh, bug, small issue with the, uh, the Mac release. It is related to a HTTP preview built-in server, which allows you to launch your app uh, on the local built-in server in Eclipse. Uh, so in order to fix that uh, small issue, go ahead to uh, bugs Eclipse or bugs and go ahead, search for uh, bug number 293.398. So if you look for this bug, it will uh, give you ability to download uh, the fix. So the fix is this one, the second one, and go ahead, right click, save link as, download to your local file system. Okay, when you have it all downloaded, uh, like I do, you can go ahead and unzip and package the uh, Eclipse installation. So anywhere you want to put it. So the way you uh, install Eclipse is just by unzipping it and that's it. So the unpackaged uh, folder you can place anywhere you want. Now uh, go ahead, take that uh, um, patch. Uh, if Again, this is only for Mac users. I think on, on Windows and on Linux it should work fine and uh, copy and paste that to a plugins folder and overwrite the existing uh, plugin there. Okay, so now we're ready and uh, set. Launch the Eclipse app and when you launch it for the first time, uh, it will ask you uh, for the path to your workspace. Uh, so the path is, uh, this is a path where all your HTML uh, projects will be stored as well as uh, some H Eclipse uh, uh, configuration files. Okay, so uh, I'll use the default one, it's up to you. I'll check this checkbox so it won't ask me again when I launch uh, Eclipse and press OK. Now it will uh, load the whole uh, Eclipse ID when you have it loaded. You can go ahead, click here, Workbench. And first thing you want to do, uh, let's switch from the JavaScript perspective uh, to a web perspective. So a web perspective will also give us uh, additional wizards to do um, uh, to create HTML5 or CSS content. Now, in the Project Explorer, uh, this is where you can start here and start creating new uh, projects. So right-click here, create new, a static web project and let's put it uh, give it some name hello world and uh, let's uh, create new runtime so the runtime it, it will it will be at the local uh, HTTP preview server that will be built in into uh, Eclipse and this is uh, the thing that we created patch for or uh, we downloaded the patch for so uh, click here and create new local server uh, and finish so now we're ready to roll, finish here, and it creates our first HTML uh, project in Eclipse. Now, uh, in the web content here, I can start uh, putting my uh, HTML files. So click here, and here we have a shortcut to uh, HTML wizard, and let's give it some name, so index, so this will be our first uh, page. Now go to new HTML5, uh, so this will uh, create a new HTML5 um, file for you. Press finish and it should open here. There we go. Uh, now one more thing, we want to add some scripts. So let's uh, add some logic to our uh, HTML page. Right click here 
and create new folders. So the good practice is to put your scripts under some fo folders. Some I uh, use a JS name, I use scripts, it's up to you. Scripts, there we go. In the scripts, you can create new JavaScript files. So use again this uh, uh, shortcut button on the top bar here. And let's give it main uh, JS name. So you can see it has created our main JS. And now let's link our HTML5 uh, file with uh, main.js. So here you can see if I open the bracket in the head uh, tag, and uh, I can select from the list, and it's like a smart code completion because it sees that I'm, I'm in a head uh, tag, so parent tag, so I can uh, select only from those, I uh, guess, I believe around seven tags. So use script, and now if I go into a script and I select, uh, here and you know, click control space it will invoke the code completion and I can look for source there we go and source has to point to my scripts main GS file so this will link um, our two files this way now in the body uh, again if I control space I, or I open the um, the bracket here of the tag I can select from the list of different tags I want to use button and uh, let's give it some label of course hello world can be anything else and now uh, let's create let's go jump back to our uh, javascript file and let's create a first uh, javascript function let's give it a hello world name and here uh, i can again use code completion control space and it will pop up a list of all available uh, built-in functions, uh, JavaScript functions. So uh, let's uh, let's look for alert. Alert will pop up a HTML alert uh, on my page. So here, let's give it some uh, text. Hello world. Okay, we're fine. Now let's go back to index HTML, and you can see that because our uh, both uh, HTML file and JavaScript are linked, I can look for, first of all, let's look for on-click event. There we go. And next we want to look for, uh, H, let's put HE so it will not know what to look for, a hello world function. There we go, so this is the function that we just created. Now, if you want to test your app, uh, command F11 on Windows, it will be Control F11. Uh, you use HTTP preview at localhost, always use this one. Finish. So it will launch the local um, HTML, uh, HTTP server, and it will uh, launch our app in a built in browser, in a built in uh, HTML engine in Eclipse. So we can test it directly from here. You can see. Okay, it popped up our alert box. Uh, now, if we want to, uh, you can do sort of a split view. You can drag it to the right side here. So you can drag this tab and it will uh, dock this uh, preview here on the right hand side and you will be able to see your uh, content, uh, both uh, the, the source and the preview on, on, on the, um, on the uh, built-in browser here. Now, if you want to launch uh, your application in an external browser, go ahead to Eclipse Preferences, uh, look for a browser, so you'll find a web browser here, and you can uh, select the Use External Browser um, option, and it will use my default one, so I guess it will be Chrome in my case. Let's, uh, let's see that. Oh, it's Safari, forgot. But as you can see, it launched my app, so I can test it. Hello world, there we go. All right, so as you see, um, creating HTML content in your in Eclipse is uh, very straightforward. So if you are a, a developer and you're moving to a HTML development, uh, this environment uh, can be very familiar for you, especially if you did uh, in your previous life, like Java or Flex or anything else, a uh, development. Uh, this uh, this is a good starting point, a good environment uh, to start with. Uh, okay, so in the next episode, um, I will actually cover um, a bit more about Eclipse because uh, 
You can do a debugging of your JavaScript uh, content, of course, in a browser using a Firebug, using a web inspector. Uh, but not many people know that you can actually use Eclipse in order to do uh, JavaScript debugging. So stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you very much and bye.